Hey everyone, it's uh, Kevin and Robin here on Canada Day. So start off with a uh, happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. And it's not raining. It's which... sunny, it's beautiful. I know, I thought it was supposed to rain all day today. I checked the weather yesterday and I said it was going to rain all day and then it rained all day yesterday. And it looks like a good Canada Day today. So hopefully mm -hmm. uh, people are getting outside and enjoying uh, a little bit of wine, a little bit of food and uh, having a good Canada Day. And you, you've been busy this week. We've been a little bit busy uh, getting ready, not just for Canada Day today, but um, what would hopefully be some stampeding fun too. Yeah, it's still a soft, like a, a sore point, isn't it? <laughs> Hurts like, a little bit. Although I, I see all of the little flags up around the city, it gives a little hope, um, a little happiness, memory of what we would normally be doing right now. I know. Are you a big stampeder? You get into it? I do. Stampede's changed a little bit now with little ones, uh, but yeah. we certainly go down and enjoy the midway and uh, all of those things too. So I think uh, my girl stopped by this morning to say hi to me. They had all their cowboy boots and hats and stampede gear on. So uh, nice. yeah, we'll That's still awesome. try. I know. I feel bad for the like I have teenage kids and they always get so geared up for stampede and they're pretty bummed up they don't get to go. So. I'm feeling for them. Usually Stampede for us is uh, kind of quieter in the wine shop because everybody's out doing their, you know, drinking and drinking Baileys at 10 a.m. and that doesn't <laughs> lead to a lot of dinner parties and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully everyone's going to get out and jump on some, you know, smaller Stampede parties. So mm -hmm. we're, we're trying to make that a little easier this year. So what, what do you got? What are we doing? Well, if you're planning to host anything, we did a few uh, little Stampede themed packs for you so you okay. can order online. I mean, we all want you to still have fun and still have fun safely so uh, do some curbside pickup maybe order some of these for delivery we can always arrange that for you too cool. um, so starting over here we've got the rodeo nice have you ever crushed a beer at a rodeo before uh, a couple of times okay. maybe once or twice <laughs> I like the rodeo despite the fact I'm like deathly allergic to horses I can't ever sit too Doesn't close to it, it. Easy. but if I get you know the cheap seats I'm, uh, I'm good to go I like what you did here because these are three of my faves I really like this Lacombe beer um, from Blind man so it's the uh, five diamonds which is I don't know how much fishing you do but uh, you know you get out there a once in a while but with fishing with kids but uh, that's probably the most uh, famous or well-known lure out there which was invented in Lacombe so that's the uh, I think Blind Man's one of my favorite Alberta breweries all of these guys are from Alberta really and they all make yeah. fantastic uh, stuff but Blind Man's always a good staple. Blind Man's great it does what I call beer flavored beer you know just like straight up Pilsner really easy drink and really crushable I also really like like this old beautiful mm -hmm. it's a great spot if you haven't been to Old beautiful actually they're the same people who designed our new store at the university fort architecture yeah. amazing designers and they do really cool stuff so that space is great this is sort of a japanese style beer with a bit of rice uh, in there so it's mm -hmm. just like really lean and crisp and fresh and if you like something a little funkier I really like this uh, 88 Night Gallery. Do you remember that? I like their names. 88's got the best names for beers. Do you, do you remember the Night Gallery? Can I ask if I remember the 88 Olympics? No, not the Olympics. <laughs> Maybe. I remember the 88 Olympics well. I was uh, a 17 year old trying to sneak into bars. Do you remember the Night Gallery? A little bit. Yeah. Great place. I lost a few uh, few nights at that place. It always had great local bands. So awesome that they did a homage to the it's Night Gallery. It's only around for the end of that one. Yeah. yeah. Last few years. Still good years. Yeah. Um, but this is a hazy, so you know, a little funkier style, but still really clean and bright and uh, delicious. Good summertime, hot weather beer. Mm -hmm. I like what you did for this. So we what do we call? We got this is the rodeo and this is the, the midway. midway. All right. What's All in the right. midway? So I know this is in there. The Villa des Anges, which we're tasting now, which is showing really well. Yeah. The midway is really meant to be like cheerful fun four red wines at a super approachable price point okay. um we're 59.95 nice for four uh, bottles for four bottles of wine um and they all really are like super fantastic backyard barbecue kind of wines so if you're having a yeah. little stampede barbecue in your yard these are going to be where it's at got the Despierta Spanish Tempranillo, that Mercado, which um, we've talked about before. Flying out of here. And the Villa des Anges, which is what we're actually sampling today. Yeah, new vintage. So this is always one of our most popular Cabernets. This is the 2017. So what I like about this, you, still, you get a little bit of that minty cab sort of note in the, mm -hmm. off the nose, but then when you taste it, it's really kind of like a pretty big, rich wine for 
1995 or? Yeah, 1995 on the shelf. And this has always really been one of my favorite cabs that we have, and especially considering its value. I think it's a super good producer. It's one of those wines that comes to us through, um, like, via Jeff Corral, which we're going to talk about in a couple of weeks and feature a bunch mm. of new stuff from him. Yeah. Um, and really kind of like a bit more medium body that's not super jammy and in your face. So right. it makes it really approachable. Yeah, I mean, this is a goofy word to use, but it really does taste French. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't taste like a really hot climate cab. It still, it still retains kind of those flavors that you expect to get in Bordeaux, oh, like a little bit of that, like green tobacco maybe, <laughs> or some of those spicy mm -hmm. peppery notes. And the more this opens up, actually, okay. the more kind of generous and, uh, and softer it gets. But yeah, I'm showing you all. That's a perfect a discretion back here. Right. So yeah. totally. nice job on that. Thank I'd, you. I'd pay so 60 areas. bucks for those four. That's a, that's a heck of a deal. I like what you've done over here. <laughs> it's a, the grandstand. The grandstand I don't know. Pack. You built a little grandstand. I like it. <laughs> Gotta get creative once in a while. Uh, so this is 99 bucks, uh, which is $37 off of what the regular price would be. So, I mean, you're over 25% discount on those six bottles of wine. And by far my favorite mix of the bunch. You got some sparkling wine. Little well, bubbles. Gotta celebrate Canada Day. Exactly. Or stampede. Or stampede. Or, or maybe kick off your party. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's the morning after your party, you need that little mimosa. And that that works too. You gotta still okay. have the spirit of stampede, right? Even if we don't have stampede, so I like all that. Yeah, some rosé, of course, because it's sunny weather, everybody needs some rosé. Maybe that Pinot Grigio from Dancing Coyote, a little California Pinot Grigio. Again, super, super good value. Um, and then some more barbecue reds. So, Freddie Nurks, if you're having this guy, we've talked about him before. Pinot Noir and Dolcetto. Chill it down in like a warm summer, summer day. If you Great need backyard stuff. Yeah. Love it. And the feed too. Yeah. I love that feed too, the Latar. If you haven't had that one yet, that's such a cool wine. Big, rich, like super totally. spicy wine. That's going to be the one delicious. like going alongside some ribs or steak or yeah. something in the backyard for sure. Be perfect for that. Yeah. It's a little bit of something for everybody. So whether you're celebrating Canada Day or you're trying to like recreate some stampede fun, we got what you need. So pop by and see us. Thanks again. Bye.